Well, first day it's been above freezing in four and a half days. We spent a couple of nights down in, one night I think was seven, one night was eight. I think last night it got down to 20 something, low 20s. The other night was nine, I think. So we were like seven, eight, nine. For this cold spell it went through and the single, this is my wife's mating nukes. The single made it through, single box. Moved all the honey toward the front, brewed toward the back, so they're working their way toward the honey. And also up on top, there's a sugar shim. I'll show you in this one. This double did not make it. I am going to surmise that, or assume, whichever one you want to call, call it, that this one is probably, well, I know it's dead. There's no bees going in there. I tapped it on the side with me or to it, no sound. I'm going to probably say they're stuck in the bottom box. This box is full of honey, sugar shim on top, and I guarantee you they got down there clustered in the bottom when it got so cold and they couldn't move and they starved to death. So let's take it apart and see what we got. Walk the yard and I've got two, two hives that are not flying. You can see the sugar shim, you can see a couple of them dead up here. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to move this as one big piece. Let's see about propping the camera up some way so I can do this with, without using one hand. You can already see they're flying around it because they're interested in what's in it. Yep, that box is still full of honey. And probably exactly what I just said. I'll pick the camera up and show you. If you look right down in between there, you can see a bunch of dead bees along the sides. You can see a couple of the robbers that have already made their way in there. You can see that there's a bunch of dead bees. Come on. Let's see if I can get a frame out using one hand. See if I can get a, I'm going to set, set it back down and try again. Oh, good lord. Come on. Nope, that ain't going to work. The one front, two frames in here that's got nails instead of staples. We all know that nails are not good for prying on. This top bar comes right out. I use coated staples. That way they do not pull out. There's some open nectar on that one. Well, yeah, there's honey here. Frame of honey there. Solid honey there, it's open, but it's still solid. Bunch of dead bees on the bottom. And right there's why they did not move. All right, let's pick the camera back up. There is eggs all the way down through here and there's some open brood. Guarantee you those are probably larvae right along in there. So that would be why they did not move. Willing to bet that this frame, yep, empty. Oh, good Lord, look at all that brood under there. Got somebody walking in my hair. And there's the queen. 
Deader than the doornail, yellow marked queen. There is a, get out of my hair. What they, I forgot the exact term for it. I didn't lost my train of thought. Where bees can quit moving and, ah, oh crap, can't think of it. Somebody will drop it in the, the comments down below. And Dirt Rooster's done it, dumped a hive out. Next thing you know, they're alive. Cause they were in basically hibernation stasis. Yep, there's no nectar at all in these. Well, that's called isolation starvation because they won't move off a brood. Let's see if there's any. Nope, no larva or nothing in that one, but that's just where they were clustered. One frame over, the first frame in the box, all honey. All right, guys, so that's isolation starvation when they won't move off brood. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Got a Rumble channel. Willie B's on Rumble too for those folks that do not do YouTube. Thanks for watching.